だけどね。Hi there guys and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you this really smart flourish effect and this is from um, Evolution by Video Copilot but if you don't have the Evolution set by Video Copilot then this flourish is available in the video description so go download it. It will take a while I think it's, um, I think it's about 80 megabytes it's pretty big but you get this little single flourish and please use it at your own um, purposes. But as you can see this effect is really nice, it's this glowing flourish that mixes with four of us into this nice thing and then fades away. So that is a really nice effect and I'm going to show you how to create this and this comes in handy in um, any intros. It looks always, look, always looks good. So I'm going to create a new composition. Uh, I'm just going to be using the HD um, 720 and 30 keyframes and hit OK. Alright, so once we have it I'm going to create that background. So I'm going to go Layer, New, Solid. Um, OK, then I'm going to go up to Effect, Generate Ramp. So once I've got the ramp, I'm going to go to where it says Ramp Shape. I'm going to choose Radial Ramp, and I'm going to set the start color to a color of a dark purple. So I want to copy that, just 5207C. And then I'm going to choose uh, the end color as a black. Right, so I'm going to leave it exactly as that. Looks nice. So you're going to want to get that Flourish now, so once you've downloaded it, it's going to be called Flourish 6 and it's going to be in a um, zip file, so unfold that, um, unzip it, whatever, and um, what you want to do is take to your desktop or whatever and go File, Import, File, and Import the file. So once it's in there, you're just going to drag it on. You just need to zoom out, and I'm going to scale this down quite a bit, so about that big. Right, and it looks like there's nothing there, you think, what the hell is it? But if you drag along the timeline, if you take it to three seconds, it's where it's fully emerged. Now you can just get it to the right size, so that's about right. I'm just going to drag it to where I want it to be. Alright, so I'm just going to apply a few effects to this now. So I'm going to go to Effect, um, Stylize, Glow. Because I want this nice glow on the back side of it, you know. So go to glow colors. I'm going to choose A and B colors, and I'm going to choose the first color to be just this green, really light green. It doesn't really matter about them being both the same color, just if it's in the green. All right, so that looks nice. And as you can see, you can't really see anything now. But if you go to the glow intensity and you just drag it up, see to about three, it gets this nice glow, a nice color. So that's what we want to add to it. You can add your own effects, whatever. So. Once you've got this thing, we're going to need to duplicate this five times, oh, four times, sorry, well, three more times, so there's four of them. So the way you can do this is you can click on it, go to Edit, um, Duplicate, or the hotkey, as you can call it, is Control and D. So we need to click that three times, so we have four copies. And I'm going to rename these, um, so if I just have one highlighted, click Enter, and I'm just going to type four. Three, oh sorry, what the hell? Three, two, one. So now we have these. I'm just going to get number four and drag it off the top. Number three and number two. Now I just need to set these out in order, and I'm going to have number three at the bottom, four on the left, and two on the right. So we have one at the top, and we have them all set up like that. And now I need to drag these all below each other. So two is going to go below one, three is going to be go below two, and four is going to be going to go below three. So now we need to get these into place, and it's pretty simple to do. So I'm just going to get number two, and I'm going to get the rotate tool up here, and I'm going to rotate this to the right, or whatever. So it's like this, and I'm going to get the selection tool. I'm going to drag into place. I'm going to get it so this little part here touches there. Like so, and just drag it into place. Alright, so that looks nice. Now I'm going to get number three, and I'm going to get the rotate tool and rotate it 100 degrees. Alright, it doesn't have to be perfect. Drag it into place, about there. Now I'm going to get number four and rotate it to the left. So, oh, sorry. Now I'm going to get the selection tool and drag that into place. Like 
so you, know, you can spend time getting it perfect but that looks alright for now now we want to do this thing called last series so we can move all these around without having to visually move them all and so if you get this little lasso tool down here on number four and drag to number one and you can do the exact same to number three and number two and then once that's done we can just take number one and we can take this into place wherever we want this to go uh, like so so that looks nice so now it takes three seconds to um, emerge we want it to be quicker than that so I'm gonna click on number one and I'm gonna right click and choose time and enable time remapping now I'm gonna take the last one here and drag this all the way to number two and then once on number two uh, where it says 10 seconds I want to drag this all the way down to 250 and you can't actually adjust it because it seems to in, it takes you back up to 3 seconds I'm going to take this down to 2 minutes 51 and then I'm going to drag all the way to 4 seconds and drag this to naught. so now it, it gets at its peak at 2 and then it fades out and it starts to sort of go back on itself and I'm going to do that for the exact same with the others so hit um right click again time then I'm going to choose it enable time remapping and if you want to use the other one as a template you can just highlight number one and hit U to bring up the rest I'm just going to drag these down I'll try to do this as quickly as I can uh, so I don't waste too much time because I did I've, I had to do this tutorial twice because the last time it took like um, I tried to do it with an intro and it took like um, how long did it take now um, I think it was about it went up to about 19 minutes and I was thinking oh bloody hell so I can't obviously put that on YouTube but I didn't want to make two parts so I just found that if you just add this effect and you can add whatever you want to it then you know it'll look good um, so yeah so if I had the time enable me oh, this is a really nice effect and um, I was just messing around with the shape of it and then I f found if you take the time back down to naught it obviously goes away and I it was only about about a week ago I found this and um, I was pretty chuffed because I didn't know you could actually make something go back out again but yeah so this is it guys it is now finished and um, if I just play this for you now it will take quite a while to render this as you can see so it takes takes quite a while um, why is it stopped uh, come on, Hurry up. I'll just let you see this fully as, but it does take quite a while. And as you can see, it's a really nice effect. And if you have, um, check out Evolution by Video Copilot. It's pretty pricey, but um, it's definitely worth the price. You get quite a lot of um, sort of you know elements and all this type of thing with it. And um, it's definitely a good buy. You know, you're not going to go wrong with it. it. It looks really nice, as you can see. This is just one. There's I think it goes up to, I think there's about 20 of these, yeah, 20 flourishes, I don't know how many there are, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, there's quite a lot, and you also have a lot of other presets, and type. Uh, there's just load load of things to do with it. So this is what it looks like at full speed now, if I just get it, and you see it comes out, and then goes back in, and that is a really nice effect, and that looks really good next to text, you know, in an intro. You may want to add another time as the exact same seconds so it doesn't move, doesn't go anywhere and then fade out. But I just thought this this looks nice. So that's the tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please um subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>